Hi guys, one plank of wood, one piece of sandpaper, and I've got a tin of paint somewhere as well, and a paintbrush. So, all I really want to do is just smooth this down enough to get rid of the splintery bits. Like that bit. Mostly just this edge that need it. I better work top, I can clear that later. Yeah. Move the mark of the camera away so it's not quite so loud. on here and start painting it. I'll just 
just realised what that was. Um, 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 an old pen, that's it. Metallic silver. My uh, cuties don't do many colours in this sort of paint, but it's meant to be... Uh, actually, I think this is going to look quite nice in that colour. It's um, meant to be for outside use on gates and things. So what I've coated my trailer in out front before. Was, uh, being a workhorse for that trailer, I didn't want to use anything expensive to tart it up because it's just going to get beaten and battered and whatnot. Oh, it's not very nice smell of paint, to be honest. Right, so let's see how well it coats, shall we? So what I want to do is basically give this a coat, then disappear to my friends for a bit and get his uh, old armchair all hacked up. He's got no other means of uh, disposing of it, unfortunately. And it's not really any good to donate to anywhere, so. I want to go for a sort of colour that would suit most homes, modern homes, as I am intending this to be a like a homemade decoration, I suppose. May actually have to go over this with one more coat. I think it might dry a bit thin. <coughs> So far, it is actually coating quite nicely. It's a cheap paint. But uh, I don't think I'm going to get round to the actual um, building. Not by the time this is dried and by the time I've been to my friends. And I'm going to do that in a different video. But for now, I'm going to get this side done and hopefully both edges and ends. So once it's dried, I either have to give it one more coat if necessary. So I don't actually know how long this stuff is going to take to dry. Haven't even read the tin. I've just <coughs> bought the tin and slapped it on. Uh, I think it's going to dry up quite nice. I know from these tins of paint um, that I've had before that you can paint almost, or pretty much any material with it anyway, so. And it didn't take too long to dry on my trailer, so I'm expecting it not to take too long up here. But as you can see, I've put um, newspaper down, because uh, dust is easy to get off worktops. Paint, on the other hand, isn't. Mm -hmm. How dust you can just wipe off, but uh, paint, I don't particularly want to stand here scrubbing, so I've got this old newspaper that I've obviously already read. It's just a free local paper that comes through the letterbox once a month. I've read it and I'll just throw it straight in the recycling bin when I'm done here. I'm actually impressed. Yeah, I can still see some wood in places, so it's going to need a second coat. But that's not a problem. Uh, as it needs a second coat, <coughs> I'll probably do that off camera anyway. So hopefully, by tomorrow, or tomorrow evening when I get back, possibly, or whenever I get a chance. <laughs> It's coming up to the weekend rather quickly. How can you tell this is a cheap brush? Look, you 
see that? Bristles fell out already. I've only been painting a plank of wood. <laughs> um, <clears throat> actually, I'm going to leave the side facing you because it's a bit awkward and I can do that bit when I do the other side. So I'm just going to do the ends for now. <clears throat> Give my brush a probably take a while to dry that. Right, I'm going to clear the sink. I've got a ton of items to put a cycle in. Uh, remember how much the brush cost now. Nine, oh, that was it, 99 pence. So I was only cheeky. But I don't particularly want to go buy, <coughs> excuse me, go buy another um, brush. It might be cheap, but I don't have the money to go wasting like that. I've got paint all over my hands. Paint all over the bottom handle. <coughs> wood in places so before I do the other side I will do another coat on this side probably when I get back I've got a drill on charge so I will need it to drill me hose for the cable it's uh, down there red light's still on so it's not charged bought myself a glass of coat that was actually rather warm and yeah. So it's quite warm in this lounge at the minute. It's time, right. Well, I didn't tell my friend I'd be about an hour, so I've got half an hour left. Give me a bit of time to go and grab some wood. So, as I can't really do much more with that now, I'm going to call it quits for this video. Oh, I've got the rest of the wood cut, by the way, so I've just got to screw all that together and build it. Um, the next video will be installing the holders. Now, I might actually see if that paint will take to the lamp holders so the whole thing is silver. But then again, the spotlights are going to be white anyway. But then again, that might get too hot. We'll see. 
Uh, oh shit, nearly broke one. I do need to uh, sort those out anyway, so. Got sauce on my shirt, and I haven't got a bloody clean one. And that's pissed me off, I'm not sure I can wear that one. Uh, 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 right, um, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I've got to get a few other bits and bobs done. And uh, as soon as I get a chance, I will start assembling the light. Then I can find some way to hang it. <laughs> Not sure where yet. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned.